This is Tamasana edition three. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my sister with me again. I'm on back. <laughs> Hello guys. We are doing something a little bit exciting today. We are doing another Tamusana video. Tamusana part three. <laughs> yes, so this is the third Tamusana. There's a playlist on my channel. I'll leave the details over here. You can click it and watch the other ones. But today's Tamusana, one guy, where's today's Tamusana mm, from? Let me tell you, mm -hmm. it's all the way from the land down under. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Australia, exactly. She recently came back from Australia uh, and then she was also oh generous, also oh kind enough to bring us some snacks from Australia. And that is what we are <laughs> going to show you guys today. Basically, my disclaimer is that we may or may not have already opened a lot of the snacks, but as long as you get to see what we're talking about, it really, you know, that's the whole point of the video. So the first snack we are going to start with are these wagon wheels. So these are by a company called Arnott's, and Arnott's is it's popular. Arnott's is like the biggest biscuit company in Australia. Anyway, so these are eight mini... Huh? Hey, wow, English. <laughs> mini chocolate coated <laughs> marshmallow and jam, jam snacks. snacks. So yeah. chocolate marshmallow jam. This is what it looks like. It's just like a milk chocolate um, treat, biscuit kind of thing. Cheers. Cheers. Inside is chocolate and jam. Mm. No, it's cream and jam and biscuit covered with chocolate. So basically it's two biscuits mm. and they're sandwiched. And in between the two biscuits is um, a thin layer of jam, a thin layer of marshmallows. And then it's all covered in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. I've never been jam. a fan of jam anything. Jam donuts, jam bread, jam. I just haven't been a fan, but these are tolerable, like they're tolerable because it's just a little bit of jam in the middle and it like adds a little bit of some. And then the biscuits are not hard. They're kind mm. of um soft. Soft and chewy, so it's like it's really nice actually. I quite like it. The next thing we have is something that is quite uh, popular in Australia. She actually had a few friends ask her to bring this back as well, <laughs> specifically. Um, and these are Australian made. They're called frogs. Red Allen's frogs. Red Frog! By a company called Allen's. They're frogs, no artificial colors, all that stuff. Um, I haven't opened this one, so at least we can have a, an opening for one. They're pretty much gummy bears. Yeah. I could eat these all day. If you can see from where you are, they're just like gummies in the shape of a little frog. So Cheers. cute. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I can eat those all day. Really? All day. So in Australia, they call gummy bears jellies. So if you hear someone saying they're having jellies, it's this gummy bear kind of thing. So these are raspberry flavor. Mm -hmm. There's no artificial colors, but they're very sweet. They're very, very sweet. What I like about them, from what I remember from them when we were in Australia, is that when you have them, like if you have like a centerpiece or something, you can just put a bowl and have them in there and they add such a nice vibrant color and you can pick from them one, one at a time. Like if you're studying, you can have a few on the side of your desk and they're really nice, like kind of snack. And what I don't really like is that they stick to your teeth quite a bit. And I guess that's just like gummy bears in general. Yeah. It's just like the whole time, like right now. Yeah. It's just, you know, but yeah, I like it, but they're good. They're good. Ooh, let's see this one. <laughs> She has eaten all the snacks already. I love them. I love them. They're all open. They are like baked crackers, basically. Mm. So they're crackers, and they very like they specify that they're baked and not fried. So they're slightly healthier than the normal cracker that are fried in oil. And these are in the pizza flavor, which is one of my favorites. I was so excited when I saw this. Truly and genuinely, so excited. So they come. Imagine I'm opening this for the first time. Boop. <laughs> they come in this foil bag, so they're sealed. They're quite fresh when they come. So they actually have a shape to them. They're crispy, and they, they taste like pizza. They taste like, um, you know how you have the tomato base of a pizza, and then mm -hmm. they put like oregano and herbs? And, and they have thyme. a strong onion flavor as well. They have some onion, onion so it garlic. tastes like pizza. If you're not a sweet tooth, I don't know what that type of life is, if you're not a sweet tooth. <laughs> but if you're not, it's a great snack to have. The next snack that we are going to show you guys is this Kit Kat. This specific Kit Kat is a Kit Kat Chunky, so the bigger Kit Kats. But this is the best of the best. So it says the best of the best. It's a new edition one. So what is special about this Kit Kat is that it has three fillings, so three different flavors inside the one bar. So you know how a Kit Kat can be divided into three sections. So the first one is, um, is a gooey caramel. The second one is cookies and cream. And then the third is chocolate fudge. 
that's that's why you bought it, isn't it? That's why I bought it. <laughs> So basically the best of the best means these are the three most popular flavors that um, they have found and they've put them all in one bar. You know how sometimes like you want a little bit of this and a little bit of that but you don't want like to buy the whole bar just to have one piece? This solves that issue. Get the best of both worlds. Mm. You don't always want one full bar same or something. Thing. Mm. So I like it when there's a bit of a surprise and a bit of difference, like even like a mixed bag of nuts and mm. chocolate. <laughs> I mean, it's still a Kit Kat. It still has the the wafers. It still has the chocolate, but it's just it's um above the wafers. There's all this now cookies and cream or caramel or the chocolate fudge. So the chocolate fudge one was just chocolate. I felt yeah, they didn't have. I love it. I love like the chocolate. Like, I thought there was gonna be like a cake next to it. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, but it's good. The next thing uh, you also saw in the video that I did, my previous video. And it's something that is so hit and miss with people, but I love it. I absolutely, like, love, love this thing. And as you can see, <laughs> she, not so much. Mm -hmm. And that is Vegemite. You nasty. <laughs> if you know Marmite, you know Vegemite. So it's pretty much the same thing, fermented yeast, concentrated yeast extract. So in the video that I did, I actually gave a spoonful to Kangai. But today, I'm being a little bit nicer. I have it in the proper way that it's meant to be eaten. So what I've done is I've taken some bread, I put it in the toaster, I put a bit of butter on it, and then a bit of Vegemite on it. So a lot of people, the mistake that I've found is a lot of people think Vegemite is Nutella. And they put it on their bread the way you would put Nutella, like thick, put like, you know, large helpings on it. And you're kind of just meant to touch it onto the bread. And it's just so great, it's so good. Seven years I lived in Australia. Seven years. And I still don't understand this. It's like... Mm. <laughs> it's like salty. It's like a rake of cube. <laughs> or a beef cube. This is, this is rudeness. This is like actually... a vegetable cube on bread. You're being so rude. That's what it tastes like. No. A few moments later. All right, so the next thing is something that a lot of people are quite familiar with. It's a chocolate and it's Cadbury's chocolate. But the thing that happens in Australia that I've quite realized, um, that I've realized quite often, is a lot of things are shaped into animals. Yeah. Like, so these are the Cadbury Dairy Milk Freddo faces. So Freddo frogs are made by Cadbury in Australia and they come in individual packets and it's just chocolate in the shape of a frog. Yeah. So they now, give them to kids like in their lunch boxes. Yeah. So you yeah. carry it in your lunch box with like your sandwich or mm -hmm. whatever, which probably has Vegemite. <laughs> and then you yes. put the frog. Just to just make, <coughs> make yourself feel better about what you just ate. <laughs> and, the, and the good thing about the Freddo frogs, the individually wrapped ones, they also come in different flavors. So you can get some that are just like Cadbury Topic. mix. Yeah, you can yeah. get like half white, half uh, milk, chocolate, caramel. You, yeah, caramel is good. Quite a few flavors. Dark chocolate. These are um, just the faces, so it's just milk chocolate, and they're bite-sized little small um, faces of the frogs, and then and they all have different faces. It's so yeah, cool. they all have different expressions. As it shows on the bottom of the packet, there's like three different faces of the frogs, and that is what basically each of the frogs is. So mine is a frog with its tongue out, and I think the you have a smiley face. Oh, yeah. the kissy face. Yeah. If you had like a hot cup of milk and then you dropped a few of this in there and like stir, let it melt and stir it, you have like the most best hot chocolate. Mm. The best hot chocolate in life. The next thing we have is another savory snack and this is by the Fantastic Company and these are barbecue rice crackers. Again, they're baked, not fried, hashtag health. They're less than 4% fat and they are gluten free. I've never been actually so aware of gluten until I went to Australia. I didn't, like, not that I didn't know, of course I knew what gluten was and that people can be allergic to it, but um, there, it's just there's a lot of things that are gluten free that you may not even realize. Like I enjoy these, but not because they're gluten free, but because they actually taste delicious. So again, they're made out of rice, they're rice crackers, and um, let's give it an open. You want to open? Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> just, uh, you were so, I made guacamole to go with these, but she left it downstairs. I left this. <coughs> mm, oh my god, as soon, as soon as it's open, just smell the barbecue. Mm. It's like real, real in there. You know how crackers are kind of boring sometimes, and you get them, they're kind of like just dry, and kind of like just 
soft. It's just not really good. So it's kind of a new way to have crackers. You can actually have them on their own. You can have them with some cheese. You can have them with some dip. I mean, look how like vibrant. You can see the flavor dust. You can see it all over them. It's so good. So, so good. They're, they're crunching like crisps. But they're like flavored. But then crackers. No. Mm. The next um, sweet thing that we have for you guys today and this is the third last snack. We're almost at the end. Oh no! You know? And these are by a company called The Natural Confectionery Company. These guys pride themselves in being artificial color free and artificial flavor free. And these are some smoothie chews. I really, really, really like these because, um, again, aside from being free of artificial flavors and coloring, they have really, really great flavors and they don't compromise on taste just because they don't have those artificial flavors and coloring so in this bag there are four different flavors and they're meant to taste like a smoothie so they have really good combinations they have a apple raspberry they have a mixed berry a strawberry and banana and a mango and passion fruit like they all sound so good delicious, delicious. So good. So this is what they look like they are individually wrapped which again is perfect for sharing perfect for putting in a bowl i just don't know why i have this idea of just having sweets on the side as you work my flavor is flavor it's <laughs> mango and passion fruit smoothie. All right, so now the next snack that we have for you guys is the last savory snack that we have, and that is <laughs> Great Waves. They have whole grain cereals, corn, wheats, uh, oats, rice, basically everything but potato. Oh, potato. This sour cream and chives is my favorite. It's my favorite too. I love it. So, so I good. love it. Absolutely love it. Please, please, can we note I didn't open this? Please. Yeah? Props. Points. <laughs> <laughs> can you see? Can you see? Such a good snack. <laughs> so, what I like about Grain Waves, as the name suggests, they're in waves. Like, they're actually like, you know, way bare. Which means that there's a lot of flavor that can kind of fit in the crevices of each wave. <laughs> it's similar to cheese and onion, but it's not the same. You can actually taste the sour cream and the chives in the flavor, and they and they are quite. Um, there's a lot of like roughage in them. You can see like it's like quite grainy, mm. and they're just delicious. Like yeah, yeah. This Tamusana edition, Australia, would not be complete mm -hmm. in any way, shape, or form no, without this final snack. I know some of you have watched this video and you're like, wait, 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 this is great, but where is this one thing? And the snack is... Tim Tams! So Tim Tams are also by, you guessed it, Arnott's. And they are probably the most famous or the most uh, snack that is the most synonymous with Australia. They are biscuits. They're not just any biscuit. They're not just any biscuit, no, right? I, I, don't just I shouldn't just say biscuit. they're a biscuit. They're not just any chocolate biscuit. <laughs> right? They are the... Chocolate. Original, it's the best chocolate biscuit in the world. <laughs> it's two cookies, two biscuits, sandwiched with a like cream in the middle and then dunked in chocolate. So what we have here is the original flavor. This is the original Tim Tam. But the good thing and the thing that is the most like and like enjoyable about Tim Tams is the variety of flavors that they have. Mm -hmm. So let's go through it. What we have just here with us today. Number one, original. Number two, chewy caramel, which is just absolutely delicious and number three is white chocolate which is another favorite of mine number four is tim tam double coat which is twice the chocolate round the biscuit which is just amazing it's amazing. basically this one with double Two layers yeah. of chocolate amazing and then there are some special ones that have come out in australia there's a place called um, messina which is the best, best ice, ice cream, cream place, place ever so good messina the ice cream place has teamed up with Tim Tam and they've come up with their own exclusive flavors as well. They have the salted caramel and vanilla flavor and they also have coconut and lychee which is also named after one of their popular popular coconut lychee ice creams. And then the final one that we have is a black forest flavor as well which is inspired by the Messina flavor as well. So as you can see it's like I'm a fan. I'm a fan. This is the original flavor. You want to have this one? <laughs> yes I do. I do, I do, I do. And it's just the original. It's just two biscuits coated with the chocolate on the outside, and they're so good. Mm, so good. I'm having the salted caramel and vanilla flavor, and I'm having the black forest, which is this one. Yeah. Yeah. 
So this has a little bit more dark chocolate, as you can see, like the difference in the biscuits. And uh, mine has a, a black forest filling, and yours has a sort of caramel filling. Mm -hmm. so let's go. Mm -hmm. Even the colors on the inside mm. are different. Mm. So, so good. This actually tastes like a black forest cake. Like, you know, like the which cherries. Isn't, which isn't my favorite, which is why I think I don't really like that one. Mm. It's just like cherries and cream and chocolate and like cake and then chocolate. So, so good. Mm. I don't know if you guys have seen the way to eat Tim Tams. We haven't done it today because we just probably won't have time because of the lighting. But mm. basically, you take a Tim Tam and you bite each corner and you suck hot milk through it and it melts the inside of the Tim Tam and makes it really like creamy and nice and then you eat all of that together and you just have this deliciousness flavor explosion in your mouth. It's so, so, so good. And it's called a Tim Tam Slam. Yes, it's called a Tim Tam Slam. So that pretty much wraps up this Tamusana Australian edition snacks. Obviously, these aren't all the snacks that are available. Australia is a very big place, but these are the ones that one could fit in her suitcase across all those continents back to Nairobi, and two are more popular and more commonly known. And I was craving what she really likes, so it was a combination of the two what she likes, what I like, and what she could bring. And this is what we had to show you today. I hope you've learned something. I hope you guys get to try Vegemite because, really and truly, you've missed out if you haven't tried it. You need it. You need it. <laughs> you need it. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye. This whole video is just gonna be me. Just me. It's only gonna be me. It's only me because it's taking so long to put her own clothes together. It's only gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Guys, I haven't put highlight for you. Highlight. Wow.